What in the world? I'm a unicorn! One, two, out! Official about the baby name. We're here at Best Buy filming for them. It's some behind the scenes stuff. And it's always fun when we are filming for marketing companies. They obviously go through great lengths to get permission from the actual store so that we can go in and film. And today we're using the drone. It's always fun when you have the drone because everybody, it catches everybody's eyes. Everyone stops. Everyone's looking, what are they doing? Why is she smiling? Why is she walking? Like, it's just different. Yeah, why is she smiling? She never smiles. <laughs> why is she smiling in the rain? It's just different and it, it's fun. So we got our drone up there, we're filming. And it's raining. Hi. I just can't get over how adorable and cute this baby room is. It's awesome and cute and wonderful and I'm getting a little jealous. That's right, I'm getting a little jealous of our baby who's not even here yet. So I'm taking matters into my own hands and I'm making changes in my own life because I control my life and I have a say in what I do and what. What, why are you smiling and laughing at me? Because I think you should show them the first changes, which is your stupid refrigerator. What's wrong with my refrigerator? I think it's crazy, I'm proud of you. Look at all the bubbly in there. That Dr. Pepper's from my dad. Pepper. It used to be full of Dr. Pepper. Now it's mango, water. bubbly, yeah, it's carbonated water. Mango, strawberry, and orange are probably my favorites. And lime is really great too. Cherry. But, Woof, unless you want to feel like you're tasting cough, cough syrup. syrup. Yeah, it's kind of true. I kind of like it. I took a drink and I was like, oh, okay. Like <laughs> childhood bad memories. They're like, oh, they're coming back to reveal themselves. One time my mom, she gave me medicine because I was so sick. Mm -hmm. and. I could not physically, I always get the pill form. I could not physically drink it. I thought I would rather be sick than drink this. So I like dumped it. I was like, I drank it. Oh. I couldn't. I really? I would dry heave and gag. Like That's so crazy to me because I like the stuff. I was like, yeah, oh. cough syrup, I'll take it. Maybe it was my grandpa's cough syrup that he kept in the, the high cabinet, you know, that you, where kids weren't supposed No, it wasn't. It was, you know, regular cough syrup. But I didn't mind it all. So I actually, cherry's not the best, but it's also not the worst. Aside from those changes, you may have noticed in the background that all of this stuff is gone. What used to be my gaming station is now gone. We've gotten rid of it. It is no longer in my office. It's downstairs. <laughs> you were worried for a second. But no, we're gonna make <laughs> some changes in here and we're gonna do like some shelves and everything and like have some, maybe some more floating shelves. Probably not floating shelves. Those are the worst. Cameras. Yeah, for my cameras. We have a little retired cameras thing. The, the last two cameras that we retired because they broke are up there. I'm not sure what happened to the other ones. Mm -hmm. They were like gone. Good. Yeah, something. But I'm gonna make it a little bit more and you're friendly in quiet. here. Oh you my god. We, we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I may have forgotten to water it and it is no longer here, which is like those plants are the easiest to keep alive. Hey, you kept it alive for about a year. It's not bad. I've done better with the kids, right? <laughs> so that's when, when when dad's watching the kids, it's like, let's see who can keep the kids alive the longest. Oh, anyway, so that's what we're doing. Um, that was one goal. I'll show you the setup downstairs right now. This, my friends, is the new gaming station. It gives me a lot more room so I can do things, you know, like this. So I've got the whole green screen behind me. So it's just a little quieter spot so I'm not interrupting the kids, I'm not interrupting Ellie, or vice versa when I'm streaming and I can do it later at night and stuff when everyone's asleep and I'm not making too much ruckus when I'm yelling at the games because I'm not very good at them. Now you see the idea, now we just have to implement it. I have a lot of cleaning in my office to do, so let's get to it. Okay, phase one is complete. I've got this whole side cleared off. I know I've got a mess over there. I'll clean that up, don't worry. I'm not just shuffling things around. There's important things, important documents. I'm going through all of our hard drives now and transferring them over to the NAS system. And that's taking a lot longer than I thought. So I've got to have that part a little bit messy for a little bit. Okay, but I've done with this. Phase one is complete. On to a lunch break. Hello. Hey, Dad. How's it going? Good. Good. Do you want to meet there or do you want me to pick you up? Um, if you wouldn't mind, why don't you come and pick me up? I'll pick you up. I'll be there in five minutes. Awesome. Okay, see you in a bit. 
Dad and I are having a lunch meeting, a lunch gathering. We are going to gather together and eat lunch and discuss things that fathers and sons do, which is a wide variety of topics depending on the day. Include anything, really. There's nothing specific, but we're gathering for lunch. All growing up, I would remember my dad going on business lunch outings with his buddies and they would go have sushi. And as a kid, I hated sushi. But my tongue has acquired a small liking to sushi. And I attribute that to you, Dad. So thank you for that. You're very welcome. I haven't done a lot, but I like will do like a California roll or like a fried California roll or something. But we're here at a sushi restaurant so I can develop a palate for sushi. And so, Dad, you are going to show me the way of the sushi. I shall show you the way, grasshopper. <laughs> All right, here is the lunch of the day. We got the sushi lunch. Dad was very specific in saying that he wants the salmon eggs on the outside of the roll. They're not salmon eggs. Oh, what are they? They are flying fish eggs. Oh, sorry. Also called tabiko. Tabiko, sorry. I'm, I'm an amateur at this <laughs> at best. Okay, salmon eggs, we use those for fishing. But, so let me get this straight. We've got shrimp. We've got salmon, we've got tuna, we've got white, white tuna, tuna, and yellowtail. Correct. I can do this. This I can do. It's this that I'm worried about. Okay, so... You, you'll be good. You'll be good. It's really good. Okay. You'll be good. Do you guys like sushi? Let me know in the comments below. Which one should I start with? I would go with the tuna. Okay, white or regular? Regular. I think our big bags. You just pop the whole thing in your mouth? Yes. I'm nervous. <laughs> You'll be fine. It's good, right? <laughs> well, I definitely have some work to do before my palate is totally acquired to that kind of sushi. I can do the rolls. I can do the rolls, but those, uh, what are those things called? The things? I don't know. Regular sushi. I don't know. Yeah, those, those will take some time. ready to come home from his friend's house and this is something that I've had in the basement that I've been wanting to do forever I finally have a little energy to do it I saw this on Pinterest and Jackson has been working on his ABC's this year at school and Jackson knows most of his lowercase letters but I thought that this would be really fun to have plus throughout the summer for me and him to work on and he will take a clothespin and he can go through and do the lowercase letter to the uppercase letter and he can put the clothes pin on it and i think he's gonna enjoy that activity and it will help him learn so i don't do tons of craft stuff as you guys know but there are certain things that i think are really fun like this is super fun they love the kinetic sand in the box with the rocks and the trucks we get it out every day and they play with it for a good hour every day so some stuff like this is super fun for me to do so when he gets home we are going to go over these after we eat chocolate chip cookies, of course. What do you think? Good. It's good, it's good. Do you wanna do this with me? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? It is where you can have one of those and then you clip it onto the lowercase letter. Okay. Do you wanna play that with me? Yeah, what is it called? Um, it's called matching letter game. Oh, matching letter game. <laughs> so what do you think about this one? Where do you think the lowercase letter is? You can hold it. Perfect. So we'll put that down. But how did he get all of them? I know, I'm gonna take him back from him. I remember in school, I had a hard time figuring out the lowercase A's and B's, or the, the lowercase D's and B's. Can you find the lowercase B on this one? Awesome. Awesome! What is that letter? C. Okay, can you find the little one? Awesome! Okay, so Jackson just did the H, and he put it on the right one, but he was a little confused. So do you know where the H is now? Can you point to it? The lowercase H? Perfect, and where's the N? 
Yeah, that was a tricky one, huh? Why did you do that? Because I wanted to show them. Now you can put it back on the H. Perfect. Thank you. Calvin, have you done some? You did L. <laughs> Good job. What one is this one? E. Oh. <laughs> what one's this, Cal? E. 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 Even Calvin's learning a few as we go, huh? Ah! One, two! Do you not do it? Take it off? Yeah. Oh, good. Do you want me to take this one off so it doesn't hurt? This one. Ow. Do you not pinch your fingers? Don't pinch your fingers with them. Yeah, guys, don't pinch your fingers. It's not smart to do because it hurts, okay? <laughs> oh, great. Sorry, I'm a bad influence. <laughs> no, I'm not a bad influence. I'm a unicorn. Well, you found your wings? Yeah. Where were they? How did they get in there? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm so glad you found them. I think they fly in there. They must have. So every day, Jackson loves to comb his hair. So one of our evening rituals is once we're all done in the bathtub, Jackson will grab the comb and he'll comb his own hair. In the mirror. Yeah. In the mirror. Oh yeah, right here. Okay, let's see you do it, bud. That way we're nice and clean. Mm-hmm. Ready for bed. I always do their ears. Ah. Clean, 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 clean. Clean, clean, clean. <laughs> oh, what in the world? Oh, did you break it? <laughs> Jackson. Did he break it? Jackson, or was it like did that? Did you break my comb? Did you break it? <laughs> what do we do when we break things? <laughs> we, say, we say, sorry, mom. I fixed it. Oh, good. Oh, I'm good. glad you fixed it. No, it broke while ago. I, was just, really I think sad. it was broken before. Yeah. He comes it forward and then pushes it over like that. Good, Good job. job. You're doing great, taking after your daddy and your grandpa. But I'm the only one. And we're not forcing them to, to comb their hair and to look nice and everything. We just do this after every bath. So Jackson has picked up on it and wants to do it himself. It's just kind of like ingrained in him that this is like our ritual. So he's just participating in it. I like it. Yeah. It teaches them to like be proactive and get ready, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like he'll come upstairs and grab his clothes and get dressed on his own. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Yeah. It helps me out. It does. It helps me out too. And you look pretty fly. What is that? H. What letter is this, Jackson? H. That's right. We need H. Can you find me H? What do you think this is for, Jackson? Jumping over. Whoa. Jumping over? That would be cool. This actually is a little bookshelf for all of those books in the corner. I got this at Target, and the boys are helping Daddy put it together. Calvin, do you want to try? No, it scares me. <laughs> no, it scares me. <laughs> I can do another one. Calvin, do you want to do it? No, it scares me. It scares you? <laughs> it's hard to do, huh? Why no, does that? Me. I think it's so funny when he says Good. that. Good job. Can I do this one? Sure. What do you think, Cal? Was it scary? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a pretty good setup. I build, you organize. <laughs> I love this. I'm so happy you do. It's gonna be Thank really you nice. So much. I love you. That's like my favorite kids' book. Oh. I love those books. While we're in the baby room, let's talk about the baby. I'm pretty sure Ellie has said this a couple times, but I wanted to chime in here and kind of reiterate. almost reiterate and make it like official about the baby name. So you know that we have a baby name in mind and a couple baby names uh, that we're kind of toying with but one in particular but for both of us it's just not sitting there 100% with Jackson and Calvin once we had it we knew before Jackson was even born we knew his name was going to be Jackson no before we were pregnant we knew his name was going to be we Jackson even having a boy. yeah and then with Calvin once we heard it, we were like, that's the one. With this baby, we have one a name that we both like a lot, but we just don't know if it's the one yet. So I think what we're going to do, this is not going to be set etched in stone because it may change, we don't know. But as of right now, we're gonna wait until we see our sweet little baby boy oh. and then 
we're going to come up with the name. And that feels weird to do that and to say that because we've never done it before. And so I know there's a lot of people who have thought like, okay, where's the name? Where's the baby name? But that's where we're sitting right now. And I just wanted to let you know, kind of, quote unquote, officially unofficial. You know what I mean? So that's where we stand on the baby name. If you've been wondering, where the heck is the baby's name? This is adorable, Ellie. So cute. So stinking cute. Well, it is a time to put the kids to bed. And so that means it is time to put you to bed. But you may be starting your day. You know, it's figure of speech. Oh, one more book. Oh, one more book. No, Spider-Man. No, two more books. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna read the kids a story and we hope you enjoyed our story today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.